Peace everyone and welcome. Have you wanted to know if you're praying right, or how to pray and allow God to talk to you? Prayer is a powerful tool that can bring peace and comfort to our lives, and by following the suggestions provided, you can deepen your relationship with God and hear His message more clearly. There are many different ways to pray, and the best way to pray is the one that feels most natural and meaningful to you. Some people prefer to use traditional prayers, such as the Lord's Prayer or the Hail Mary, while others prefer to speak to God in their own words. One way to begin praying when you don't know what to say is to simply take a deep breath and focus your thoughts on God. You can also try expressing gratitude for the blessings in your life, asking for guidance or help, or simply sitting in silence and listening for God's voice. Remember that prayer is a conversation with God, and there is no right or wrong way to do it. Learning how to pray can take time and practice, but it is an important part of a spiritual practice. Learning how to pray can be a journey, and it is one that is well worth taking. Prayer is an essential part of a spiritual practice, and it is a way for us to connect with our Creator and to express our gratitude, to confess our mistakes, and to ask for guidance, wisdom, strength, and provision. It is a powerful tool that can help us to navigate the challenges of life and to find peace and comfort in difficult times. To learn how to pray, there are a few steps that you can take. The first step is to set aside time each day to pray. This could be in the morning, at lunchtime, or before bed. It is important to find a time that works best for you and to make it a regular part of your routine. This will help to ensure that you are making prayer a priority in your life. The next step is to find a quiet and comfortable place to pray. This could be a room in your home, a park, or a church. It is important to have a space that is free from distractions and where you can focus on your prayer. This will help you to feel more relaxed and to be more present in the moment. Once you have found a place to pray, you can begin by praising God. Take time to thank God for all that He has done for you and all that He is. This can be done through singing, reading scripture, or simply speaking words of gratitude. This is an important step as it helps us to focus on God's goodness and to acknowledge all that He has done for us. The next step is to confess your sins. Take time to confess any wrongs that you have done and to ask for forgiveness. This can be done through reciting the Lord's Prayer or through your own words. Confession is an important step as it allows us to take responsibility for our actions and to seek forgiveness for our mistakes. After confessing your sins, you can make requests. This can be for yourself or for others. Ask God for guidance, wisdom, strength, and provision. This is an important step as it allows us to bring our needs and concerns to God and to ask for His help. The final step is to listen. Take time to listen to what God may be saying to you. This can be done through reading scripture, meditating, or simply sitting in silence. This is an important step as it allows us to hear God's voice and to receive guidance and wisdom from Him. In addition to these steps, it is also important to keep in mind that prayer is not a one-way conversation. It is a two-way conversation between you and God. As you pray, be open to receiving God's guidance and wisdom. Listen for His voice and be willing to follow His lead. Here are a few Bible verses that are related to prayer. Matthew 6 verses 9 to 13 The Lord's Prayer. 9. In this manner, therefore, pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. 10. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 11. Give us this day our daily bread. 12. And forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. 13. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 6, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. 7. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. James 5 verse 16 16, Confess your trespasses to one another, and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 17, Pray without ceasing, these verses offer guidance and inspiration on the topic of prayer. They remind us that prayer is an important part of our relationship with God and that we should pray without ceasing. 
they also remind us to bring our concerns and needs to God and to trust that He will hear and answer our prayers. As you continue on your journey of learning how to pray, it is also important to remember that it is a process. It may take time and practice to develop a regular prayer routine and to feel comfortable and confident in your ability to pray. Don't be discouraged if you feel like you are not doing it correctly or if you struggle to find the right words. Just remember that prayer is a conversation between you and God, and He is always listening, no matter how you choose to pray. One way to enhance your prayer experience is to try different forms of prayer, such as contemplative prayer, guided prayer, or journaling your prayers. Experimenting with different forms of prayer can help you to find the one that works best for you and that allows you to connect with God, in the most meaningful way. Another way to enhance your prayer experience is to join a prayer group or a Bible study. This can be a great way to connect with others who are also on a journey of learning how to pray. It can also be a great way to learn from others and to gain new insights into the practice of prayer. As you continue to learn how to pray, it is also important to remember that prayer is not just about asking God for things. It is also about developing a deeper relationship with God and growing closer to Him. This can be done through reading and studying scripture, attending church, and participating in other spiritual practices. In conclusion, learning how to pray is a journey that is well worth taking. It is an essential part of a spiritual practice and it allows us to connect with our Creator and to express our gratitude, to confess our mistakes, and to ask for guidance, wisdom, strength, and provision. It also reminds us that we are never alone and God is always listening. Remember to take it step by step, experiment with different forms of prayer, find a community that can support you and make it a regular part of your routine. I would like to take this moment to thank you for taking the time to explore the topic of prayer and for your desire to deepen your spiritual practice. Remember that you are not alone in this journey, and God is always with you, guiding you and listening to your prayers. May you find peace, comfort, and guidance as you continue to learn and grow in your practice of prayer. Now let us pray. Dear God, we come to you today with open hearts and minds, seeking to deepen our spiritual practice through learning how to pray. We thank you for the gift of prayer and the ability to communicate with you. Help us to set aside time each day to pray, and guide us to find a quiet and comfortable place to do so. Teach us how to praise you, confess our sins, and make requests. Give us the strength and willingness to listen to your voice, and to follow your will. We know that prayer is a journey and we may stumble along the way. But we trust that you are always with us, guiding us and listening to our prayers. Help us to find peace, comfort, and guidance as we continue to learn and grow in our practice of prayer. We also ask for your blessings on those who may be going through a difficult time and those who may need comfort and guidance. We ask that you give them the strength to face their challenges and to find hope in you. We thank you for your constant presence in our lives and for your faithfulness in hearing our prayers. We trust in your love and your plan for us. In Jesus' name, Amen. I would like to end with my heartfelt gratitude to all of you for taking the time to explore the topic of prayer, and for your desire to deepen your spiritual practice through learning how to pray. Prayer is a powerful tool that allows us to connect with our Creator, to express our gratitude, to confess our mistakes and to ask for guidance, wisdom, strength and provision. It is an essential part of our walk with God. I hope that the steps and tips provided above have been of help to you and that you will continue to make prayer a regular part of your life. Remember that prayer is a journey and it may take time and practice to develop a regular prayer routine, and to feel comfortable and confident in your ability to pray. But don't be discouraged, just keep trying, experiment with different forms of prayer, find a community that can support you and make it a regular part of your routine. Remember that you are not alone in this journey, and God is always with you, guiding you and listening to your prayers. May you find peace, comfort, and guidance as you continue to learn and grow in your practice of prayer. Thank you for taking the time today, and may God bless you on your journey. As a community of believers, we understand the importance of supporting and lifting each other up through difficult times. We would like to extend an invitation to share your challenges and struggles in the comments section, not as a way to reveal your privacy, 
but as a way to share your testimony and potentially provide encouragement and guidance to others who may be going through the same thing. We are all here to help and support one another on this faith journey. Together, we can lift each other up and find strength in our shared experiences. We are so glad you joined us on our Prosperous Faith channel today. We hope that the video helped to deepen your understanding and strengthen your faith journey. We believe in the power of sharing our stories and lifting each other up. By subscribing to our channel, liking our videos, and leaving comments, you will become a part of our community and have access to a wealth of uplifting and powerful inspirational messages, morning prayers, and biblical insights. And by turning on the notification bell, you'll never miss a chance to grow in your faith with us. Thank you for being a part of our community, and may God bless you always.